All right, it's the John K Band here on WNCW. John Cadlesic and company, uh, sounding good with, with the get out the vote tune. All right, and you're living in the D.C. area now, aren't you? Yeah, that's correct. All right. Um, oh, did I read Tacoma Park? Maybe yep. Maryland, right yep. just across the border. That's a good hood, uh, but right there in the, in the D.C. area. So uh, yeah, you got patriotism. It's like the Berkeley happening. of the D.C. It, area. It's like the Berkeley of the D.C. area. <laughs> and uh, boy, are we getting into the election season now. So I guess we need all the get out the vote. Songs we can get. Like that one from your days in Hairball Willie. I was going to ask about old Hairball Willie. How is how he's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there was no actual. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was a, band, a mascot band kind of. A thing. mascot band. Where was this? That, uh, this was in the Chicago suburbs. Okay. That's where you grew yeah, up, We right? toured around, uh, you know, the, the Midwest a bit. Got into surrounding states, but didn't uh, kind of like uh, fell apart and people went different ways before we quite got to... Uh, Getting all over the country, but uh, yeah, oh well, well <laughs> fun time. It was a fun step to get you to where you got to next, and then next, and then next, and you're climbing <laughs> the staircase to uh, to this scene that we have right here with uh, this fine band. We should introduce the folks. So we have uh, Waynard Scheller right on the keys, mm-hmm. and Cliff Black on the bass, and on the drums here, Nathan Graham. Thanks, guys, all for coming in here. Uh, they're on their way to Raleigh tonight for a show there, and then tomorrow night you're in Charlotte at the Visualite Theater, and Friday you're playing the Gray Eagle. So uh, I guess it was sometime maybe before the days of Hairball Willie that, that someone turned you on to, uh, to the Grateful Dead, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Someone turned you on, and then and then uh, 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 a, a drummer I played with in high school actually. Uh, huh. I was still hanging out with a little bit after high school, and uh, he's like, "You gotta check this out." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I was, yeah. you know, I was starting to get into jazz and jazz fusion and uh, in that direction, and uh, it was good to hear, it, good to see that. Really, like great. I think of the Grateful Dead as kind of dirty jazz, like jazz kind of went the way of uh, you know fine cheese and you know quiet cocktail environments instead of being <laughs> the dirty dance music that it used to be you know and, uh, yeah in, in a lot of ways uh, you know uh, uh, there's many perspectives on the grateful dead as there are listeners and viewers but that's one of mine anyway yeah i, I think i think one of the enduring assets of the dead is uh it's like uh, what five blind people describing an elephant. It's like you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. some people come into it from from the jazz perspective, like maybe you did. Others because they got into what became known as Americana music, some sort of country folk rock type of thing. Others for for other reasons, but uh, you know, however it was, uh, a lot of folks got into it, and you got into it, and you were in college, and and you dropped out shortly after uh, yeah, getting that, more and more like involved. A, like in any the good dead. music major, exactly. I got my first gig before I graduated. That's so. right. <laughs> classical guitar wasn't it is that your major uh, yeah but that's that's just that's an instrument you have to take to to made to have a major they don't they don't really have at least my school didn't have major in rock guitar or jazz guitar so yeah yeah um, and violin was uh i was still playing but not uh uh the classical string program was a little bit odd at the school i went to so <laughs> it was a little more of a community orchestra than a than a academic orchestra so. gotcha yeah uh, and then along came uh, the Dark Star Orchestra. Yeah. <laughs> so not every college has a Dark Star Orchestra, so you made one, and uh, co-founded that that in what ninety seven, yeah, something like that, yeah. and uh, somehow managed to make uh, this is just amazing, you know, a full time gig out of uh, basically. Well, we actually at great. the beginning of Dark Star Orchestra, we actually all have, we're all playing full time uh, on weekends with our own bands. We kind of started it just as a Tuesday night house project, yeah, uh, yeah. just out of pure love and. Just wanting to see how close to the sound we could get, uh, and you know we all knew we could jam, so uh, you know that part we had. But we were, you know, we just had obsessions with like, you know, figuring out how the parts worked and how the arrangements worked, and you know they, they were, uh, you know, the Grateful Dead were. I think we're also masters of creating live arrangements for songs. Uh, most bands struggle with that thing of they've they've crafted the perfect studio track. And uh, and but they can't make that sound live or get the same energy or whatever. And uh, and Grateful Dead kind of came at it from the other end. They nailed the live sound, yep. and then they had to struggle to figure out how to capture that in the studio. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. With different so, producers uh, and yeah. such, making it each, each each trying to make it right each time. And yeah, it's funny how some folks uh, really like certain albums of theirs, and some folks are like, no, 
None of them so much. <laughs> really, it was Red Rocks or it was uh, uh, some Soldier Field. Fantastic, but none of them get the none of them get that live sound. Yeah, that live feel. You know? Yeah. So well, I got to say though, uh, you, you guys in Dark Star Orchestra, you you definitely got it. Uh, it was it was it was some pretty magical times with you with the, oh, with the guys, and then along came further, and uh, and then and, and playing with with lots of other guys over the years too, Melvin Seals and and, and such. Yeah, actually, I had a band that toured around with Melvin Seals that was called the Mix. Yeah. Yeah. around 2003 2006 uh, but it was sort of concurrent with Dark Star Orchestra and concurrent with Melvin's other touring projects and stuff so it was a bit hard to keep going yeah but we, we did get signed to a recording contract and released a record so it's still on iTunes okay uh, it's called American Spring and it uh, has a couple of Robert Hunter a couple of songs with lyrics by Robert Hunter uh, one of my favorite uh, John Lennon tunes get covered on there so, so. which one was that nobody told me oh right cool Cool. A couple of my tunes on that one too. A couple of Melvin's tunes, and uh, the bass player was uh, Kevin Rosen, who was uh, in DSO for quite a long uh, tenure, and uh, a couple of his ton- tunes were on there too. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you've been in lots of different incarnations, and uh, this current incarnation is the John Cadlesic Band uh, playing uh, tonight in Raleigh, and then Charlotte tomorrow, and Asheville on Friday. And uh, let's hear another taste of the jams you guys are making.